Chat, what's up, YouTube? What's up, man? Happy New Year to all y'all, man. This is the Needed Podcast, episode 62. And it is New Year's Day tonight. It is Wednesday. Did not do the show last night on New Year's Eve, man. It is New Year's Day 2020. A whole decade is over. Um, it's been a good decade for Madden. It's going to be a better decade this decade. I believe that wholeheartedly. Do you guys believe that? That is what I want to ask, man. Did you guys enjoy the decade? Did you guys enjoy your New Year's? You know, me, I really don't do too much for New Year's anymore. You know, I'm old. Uh, I think it's probably the most overrated night of the year to go out, man. So, Happy New Year's to you guys. Thanks for coming by. Uh, Madden, the one thing I was, as I was sitting here thinking, man, once the tournament's over, man, it's over. That's it. You know, last week we talked to vote about winning the club championship, but that's over. Like, we all move on. Like, this is done. It's kind of like there's so much buildup, especially for the people that are in the tournament. There's so much preparation. There's so much time. There's so much energy put into that tournament. And and once you once it's over, it's just, that's it. It's done. You know, we don't, don't nobody really dwell on it. You don't really talk about it too much. Uh you move on to the next one, and that's pretty much the cycle that we have been in since Madden 16, when the MCS came about, man. If you're on YouTube, hit that like button, comment on, you know, what did you do for New Year's? Because me, I didn't go out. Chat, let me know, did you guys go out? I'm trying to think in my entire life what's like my most memorable New Year's. Um, Poonja, what's up, man? How are you? Um... I'm trying to think like my most memorable New Year's and I really I really don't know. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm these I'm chilling. Like I really don't know. I can't really remember too many New Year's that were good for me. I don't know. I never really went out on New Year's and was like, wow, that was a great time. You know, for me it's always the thing about New Year's, chat. All right, T Gray, what's up, man? Now, this is what New Year's is, right? You have people that live their lives, right? Chat, you guys listen to me. Now, there's people that go out, like, that go out, drink, party. There's partiers, right? And these said partiers, they don't care if it's New Year's. They don't care if it's Easter. They don't care if, if it's Christmas. They don't care if it's Halloween. They're going to party. And those people generally are the people that you go out with and have fun with and party, because they know how to party. They know how to get down, as they say. You know what I'm saying? They know how to get down. So, for me, those people, the best time to meet chicks that party, for me, in my lifetime, has always been like a Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday type of go out. Because if you're going out on Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, you're really about the action. You know what I'm saying, chat? Because anybody goes out on Friday, Saturday, Anybody goes out on, on, you know, the weekends. But not only does anybody go out on New Year's, everybody goes out on New Year's. Every little Tom, Dick, and Harry is out on New Year's. Every chick that doesn't drink, every girl that's, they're always in a group. There's never just two chicks. There's always a group of annoying chicks that don't go out. Their feet hurt. They're hungry. They want to go home. They drank too much. They didn't drink enough. They're boring. I'm telling you. That is what New Year's is full of. A bunch of people that think they have to go out, so they go out. And they're not even good at going out, you know? So for me, uh, one, you spend five times as much on New Year's as you would on another day. Two, the people are just boring people, you know? It's just everybody's out. Just think about, it's kind of like school, right? Think about high school. I don't know how old you guys are. Chat, let me get an age check real quick. But I'm just thinking about high school, right? So you're in a high school with 30 people in your class, right? Now, if you took this class, right? Of those 30 people, maybe four or five are cool to go out. You know, the cool, like the delinquents of the squad of the class. You know the delinquents. I mean, I probably was a delinquent. Are you a delinquent is what I'm saying. So we take this class, right? And you had the delinquents that go out a lot. You know, and, and that's the group that's pretty cool to go out with. But picture New Year's, everybody in the class is now out at the club. The bookworm chick, the nerdy guy in the back row, you know, the, the you know, the uh what's we call the the group of Asian girls and, and, and that are good at math, those people, they're out at the club now. 
what I'm saying? You got the people, the chess club guys, they're out at the club. The gamers in the back, all of them are out at the club now. So now you get to the club, and not only now the delinquents are out, yeah, for sure. The delinquents might be at a different club, but you get all these people in the class, bang, now they're out at the club. And those are the people you got to party with. You got to literally party with every single person that goes out. You know, and then it's just a shit show because when you, when you get done, everything's closed. There's nowhere to go. Everybody, the Ubers are probably 10 times as much. So for me, yeah, so for me um, going out on New Year's, that once I became like 25, then it's kind of was like, nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. You know, I don't know you guys, how you guys feel about it lately, if you guys went out or anything like that. But um, I'm kind of cool on uh, New Year's. A nice little kickback with the homies at somebody's house or maybe a low-key little local bar. That's always a good move, you know? So that's something that I would I would be interested in doing lately, you know, or in the foreseeable future as New Year's is concerned. But uh, New Year's is good. Uh, it is a new decade. Uh, shoot, I, I, I want to, obviously 2010 to 2020 was my best decade. I've only been alive for three decades. Most of you guys have only been here for two decades. Uh, however it may be, um, I've been here for three decades. And the last 10 years was my best last 10 decade years of life. So um, it worked out well for me and Madden uh, has grown a lot in the last 10 years. I mean, I think about what... Where we go with Man on Nine? We're gonna talk about Man on Nine was the worst man, and I wish, I wish for one week, for one week, I wish we could have Twitter during Man on Nine, like a MCS or a mutt, a mutt weekend league twit or like for Man on Nine. I wish we could have that one time, man. Just so you little, you know, whiny little nerd bastards. That, Man, the game sucks. Look at this play I lost because I, I can't catch a pick. I can't. I got aggressive catch the book. All you little whiny little babies could shut the hell up, man. Like, uh, it's just like no clue how good Madden is now. Like, no clue how good Madden is now compared to what it was 10 years ago. Honestly, and we just whine and whine and whine a bookie bookie boo, bookie bookie boo boo, and we're gonna get to that in the community resolutions because you guys are gonna help me, man. I know people make resolutions for themselves. You know, I want to get in the gym and run. You know, I want to do this, that, and third. I want to get a new job. I want to, you know, shave my head, which some of y'all should. You know, it's a good move. But um, we're going to come up with community resolutions. So in the next half hour, I want you guys to think, what are some good community resolutions for us as a whole? Not one person, not an individual, but us as a community. We got to come up with some resolutions for the year. But the first thing I want to talk about, man, is earlier in the week. Now, this comes with the struggle of doing a scheduled podcast every single week. Uh, every single week. You get to schedule podcasts, right? And so when things happen a day after you do a podcast or you and you need to wait six days to talk about it, it's kind of rough. Now, you know, I saw a lot of people, uh, a lot of people were talking on Twitter about Madden on Twitch, you know, and me, myself, I want to make Madden on Twitch part of my job, part of my career, part of being a professional gamer is Twitch. It's a big part for me. I truly enjoy streaming. Now, and a lot of people talk about, um, well, mostly we're talking about just how bad Madden is on Twitch. Now, one, me, myself, is this being my career. I don't like when people talk bad about Madden on Twitch because I feel like we're doing a pretty good damn job. Also, I feel like EA, as much as we shit on them, as much as we like to complain about EA, Brian, what's up, man? We like to complain about EA so much. Man, boop, 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 EA suck, but all they care about is money. Boop, 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 boop. A lot of whiny ass people in the community. EA is killing it on Twitch. Killing it on Twitch. One million percent. They are. Between their show that they do, I feel like it's every... I don't really know because most of the time I'm not up for... um. Most of the time I'm not up for... uh. 
for what is it, 1030, morning, morning Madden, good morning Madden. I'm not up for that most of the time. Normally, I'm not up for that, you know, but they kill it every weekend or every day. They've been killing it with the with the uh, with the drops and the giveaways. I've seen super Madden streams or Madden their own channels or whatever really grow from the drops, grow from drops, grow from giveaways. Also, on top of that, you know, I was I will never get drops, and there's some people that won't get drops, and some people that won't get these things. But just having this many people on the platform, just having this many people in the search directory, just having you know, 5,000 people every single day on Madden Twitch, it helps me. So to be one of the bitter people that, oh, that's not for me. And obviously for me, I could be the bitter. I could be bitter. I could be upset. You know, I grind as hard as anybody. But ultimately, you got to just realize that it does help you. Even if it secondhandly helps you, even if it, it doesn't look like it helps you, it helps you. And I can tell you for somebody that has been partnered, let me check in the chat right now. I will tell you how long I've been partnered. I have been partnered with Twitch for 31 months. 31 months is two and a half years. Two and a half years. Now, um, for me, uh, that's a good time. And I feel like I my Twitch channel has doubled in each year that I've done it. This is probably the, out. yeah, let's say this is the third Madden where I've been partnered. Madden 18, Madden 19, Madden 20. This is the third man where I'm partner. I went from probably having 400 subs the first year, went up to my highest in Madden, what, Madden 19 was about close to 800 subs, and that was a big deal for me. I said, this is booming. Now, this year, my closest was probably 1450 subs. Boom. So, consistently doubled my views, doubled my subs, everything was just continually grinding. Now, one of the biggest weaknesses that people... Uh, that comes with all these Madden channels. Now, the biggest Madden streamer now is probably Gut Fox, and I don't, it's really not even close. And then Problem. Now, Problem has been partnered for probably five years, you know. And I think one of the biggest thing I and when I think longest tenured partnered Madden streamer, it has to be Problem that still does it consistently. It has to be Problem. And one of the challenges with a Twitch channel is just longevity. I think the longer the longer you're partnered. Uh, the longer you're partnered, obviously, the bigger your channel can grow. The longer you're active, the bigger your channel can grow. And the larger your channel is, the more views you're going to get because the more people follow you, the more people sub to you, just the more general interest in your channel is there. So longevity means a lot. And none of the main Madden streams are have any longevity. And I would say mine is probably one of the highest. And I'm at two and a half years. So when you really think about it, that's not a lot of longevity uh, compared to some of these other, like you think about the other streamers, other Fortnite, Call of Duty, these people, people have been streaming for eight years, you know? And I don't think the game, I, obviously the game, there's no need to blame the game. I mean, the, the game is what, this is like, I to me, I feel like the game doesn't really matter. You know, and mine, I think that's a, that's, I think that's a lie. I think that making live events doesn't help your channel at all. See, I don't think it does at all. I, I, I think that's a lie because people, a lot of my friends, he says, making, oh, y'all see what he says, making a live event can help your channel grow. Of course it can help. But for me, it's like, for me, it's, for me, making a live event, I've always thought, I always weighed I've always weighed, this is my question, I've always thought that, I always thought that, man, if I make these live events, I'm going to pop, and my question is why, if you guys think that, if YouTube, if you guys think making a live event helps your channel, why, why, you know, because I, as, I've, as I've done this, as I said, partnered for two and a half years, streaming for probably three, three, four years, something, um, and, and I can tell you guys that um, it really doesn't matter that much. Exposure. What exposure do you get making a live event? That's what I ask. What exposure? As a man that's made a lot of live events, what does exposure? A name out there for who? That's what I ask you. Like, for who? Name recognition. And I will tell you this. And I, it came as a place on Weekend League. Now, I will tell you this. 
making getting your name out there. I feel like, and I tell you guys this as far as streaming is, I feel like being in these Twitch chats, it doesn't hurt. But people look at me, it can't, doesn't hurt. But people talk to me like that's the reason why my channel's popping. Because I won a belt and I made live events. And I see a bunch of motherfuckers that have made live events, that have won belts, and their shit is not popping like mine. So I, I take that. And for me, when people tell me that, it's like, damn, you all you did, all you, well, you were good at Madden, that's the reason why your shit popping. Like, for me, it's like, dude, people that say that don't understand the amount of, you know, commitment and amount of work that this shit is, you know? So for me, and for me, uh, for me, that, 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 that's really slights all the work and all the, the, the things that go along with streaming, honestly. Um, yeah. I, and so for me, I, I, I hate when people think, and, and a lot of people, and my, some of my friends included, man, they feel like they want to, oh, once I make the live event, I'll start streaming. Like, bro, no, I'm telling you, man. Streaming is a different, it's, a, it's completely separate. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. It helps, but it doesn't. It's just not that big a correlation. Because I used to think to myself. I used to think to myself, right, um, that making these events would help my business grow so much. I man eighteen, because man seventeen, I won the belt, right? I spent my money. I got my money. I bought streaming. I bought this whole equipment. I opened the business. I was like, I'm going to be a Madden player. This is my... And I thought, man, I, I put my heart and the soul into the Madden Classic and Madden 18. I, re I thought it was make or break for me. And I put so much pressure on myself to make it there. I remember winning. I played blocking, winning, get in game. And I, it was the happiest I've ever been winning a match. Even more in a belt. Because I thought, like you guys thought, I thought it would just make my shit pop so much getting there. And, and and then I continue to get there. I got to the DC the DC live event. I made the ultimate league, and I'm thinking like, does this really help me grow? And then I come here, and I did so well in Man 17, Man 18, so well. Every event, hundred thousand dollars, everything. And and another one of my fears was this shit. Okay, Man 19 happened. Jacksonville obviously is all right. I'm not playing. I'm not going to these EA events anymore. I'm cool. And one of my fears was, people gonna stop fucking with me. That's what I thought. <clears throat> That's what one, another one of my fears. I was like, man, I'm not going to be at these live events. People going to stop fucking with me. People not going to look at me the same. I'm, you know, they're not going to want to watch me. Completely wrong. I thought when it happened, I thought I needed to be at the live events, and I was worried about that. Man, 19. Realized that again. Once again, my channel's done better. And man, 19 and man, 20. When I have not made a dime from these live events, not a dime. You know, now obviously it helped. It helped a lot. Damn. So you talk a lot. Get you a little water bottle like this. This this might be nerdy, but my girlfriend gives me and says you gotta drink one of these a day, and I put my little G fuel shit in there. But it's kind of broken. <laughs> Cleft the guy's dad? Is it on? Is it? What? <laughs> I mean, I read it. I don't long hair. I don't know how fast you read. Um, I don't know, but I read that for real. You know. But uh, yeah. So and and the biggest thing is that, boom, man. And, and in my four years of streaming, definitely get a gallon. Always have a gallon. The reason I have a gallon. We're going off on tangent now. I go to Wawa, neighborhood Delco, Jersey, wherever you guys live. If you don't live around Wawa, God bless. Oh, where are we at? Boom. Wawa gallon. Go buy a gallon. I carry this shit around with me everywhere. I sit next to my desk. When I go to bed, it sits on my nightstand. Need a swig?
probably lasts about two days. A little bit longer than I should. I should drink a day, but seriously, it's the easiest thing. If you're a bachelor, get a gallon of water, get a gallon every two or three days. Boom. You don't need a cup. You don't need uh, you don't need anything else. All you need is the gallon. Goes everywhere with you. You got a handle. I don't know if you guys noticed they make gallons with the handle now. You just hold it and you walk around. So I don't know, how do you guys drink water? But a gallon's pussy, but I can have this little sippy cup. That's cool, right? Come on, man. <clears throat> Chad is nuts today. Spring water. I mean, that's wild, wild, but... But anyway, I, I just feel like Twitch is really popping. It's really doing well for Madden. And Madden is always going to have its own drawbacks like that's everybody knows that the drawbacks are it's only in america it's only for a certain demographic there's no asian kids playing madden there's no korean there's no indian kids there's no europeans there's no you know south american you know brazilian kids playing madden it's only us american men between 15 and 35 like that like sports that and and, and so the demographic is is small you know, as opposed to these other games have a hundred times the demographic, for real. And uh, it's always going to have those challenges. So for for all the challenges against Man on Twitch, um, I think it's doing very well. And me personally, doing very well. <laughs> and for me, the people that consistently just shit on the views of Man are the people that aren't doing this shit anymore. They aren't. You know, but I don't know what's up, GS. Between GS, GS was like the biggest streamer when I first started watching Madden, or GS was like one of the like between GS, T Raw, uh, GPH. Uh, who else? Just relax. Who else was streaming Madden five years ago? You know, these people that were like so had the channels and had the the pop and had the views at the time. Well. T Toke obviously streamed man, but once he got to YouTube, it kind of changed, man, you know? And for me, it's like those are the people that, the people that aren't on Twitch anymore, the people that, like, they want to bring down the Twitch now. Like, they're sick that it's not them anymore, you know? And that, that stuff to me is like, bro, like, the biggest thing with Twitch is being consistent, man. There's days every single day I want to stop. I Like, I don't want to stream man today. I don't want to play man today. But you just got to stay at it. And those of us that stay at it are going to reap the benefits. You know, and that's that's the point that we are at now. And uh, it's working well for everybody. And those guys would have stayed at the man stream. They'd be bigger than we are. You know, and it's just everybody just quit, honestly. A lot of people getting 1K. That 1K is around. I see Skomo's nerd ass every morning getting like 1K people. And Skomo doesn't know the difference between a slant and a drag. And y'all talking about and y'all talking about live events. Skomo don't know the difference between a slant and a drag, and y'all bringing up live events. Like this is nuts to me. Like, I feel like some of y'all are so lost, man. Uh, some of us are, are and, and me myself, we, we're stuck in this little competitive community. That's us, two hundred people. Like, yeah, comp man matters. Like, yeah, yeah, you got to be good. Like, no, nah, man. Skomo don't be view botting. Skomo not smart enough to view bot. I know Skomo. He not view botting. Journey, I don't think. Of course it helps, but it doesn't help enough. It doesn't help enough, like. And at the end of the day, this is what I ask you. What's easier to do? Make a bunch of live events or be consist stream consistently? That's my question to you guys. You got two options. Make a bunch of live events against Drenny and Blocky and Skimbo and Kiv and Ghost and Joke and play these dudes or just stream consistently. Which one's fucking easier? Make a choice. There's a fork in the road. Your life depends on it. Stream consistently, beat Drenny, Joke, Ghost, and all them. Which, which road are you picking? Me, I'm booting my stream up, boys. Let's go. What the fuck? So for me, and honestly, and, and, and honestly for me, once I won, 
I was like, thank the Lord. Now I'm going to capitalize off this. <laughs> I don't need to win again. I'd be sorry. I'd be sorry that I'd be getting popped. But <laughs> I already made it. I'm just saying, like, I just don't. I feel like, I feel like, and I just know this from experience. I feel like people put too much stock into having to win and having, you know, to win. And I think for Twitch purposes, right? Because let's say if, if, if you stream Madden and you get 50 to 100 people, that's pretty good, right? I think for Twitch purposes, it is better to be known amongst us in the Twitch. Because let's be real. And Madden Twitch, like the real Madden Twitch, not the drop Madden Twitch. I had you and you cocksuckers you drop Madden Twitch. Those guys. Like like but us, I feel like it's it's better to be known amongst the people that are in our chats all the time talking than it is to make a live event. Cause let's say like I, I, I don't know, who who do you, who's in the Madden chat all the time? You know, if all of a sudden they went live, we would, us fifty to hundred people would know that person. You know, just because they're in the Madden chats, just because they're always talking about Madden, betting on Madden, watching money games, everything. You know, so so for me, um, uh, I think I think being, I think being in the um the Twitch chats is is more beneficial, uh, because then once you go live and people be like, oh, that's my guy. Um, yeah, my man mine. See, I know mine be in the Twitch chats. Boom. If he go live, I'm going to go check it out. Or we'll check it out. Oh, he live. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel. Like, just, just how I feel about... I feel like people put too much stock. Now, obviously, look, this is my thing. And a lot of people say, why can't you do both? Why can't you make the live event and why can't you stream consistently? Because one is a variable that might not happen. And one is all up to you. We're talking about two different things. One, you just have to wake up and do it. One, you have to be committed to this community and committed to your grind. Two, you have to actually win. Things go your way uh, <clears throat> and beat some great players in Madden. That is not guaranteed at all. It's the furthest thing from it. So obviously, yes, you can do both. I have done both. Yes, it is possible. It is the perfect scenario. Entertain, stream daily, and make the live event. Perfect scenario. But it's tough to do. It's it, it, one is a guarantee, and the other one is is far from a guarantee. You know, Twitch be whack when people playing on all pro. That's all. All I'ma say. You right, guys. Like you right. I appreciate you coming by, man. Guys, like I have never seen your name in here. Oh, you've been suffering two months. Okay, following since two thousand. Following for about a year and a half. Okay, guys, like. I don't know what happened to the sub. I mean, you've been sub for two months, but it ain't sub no more. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just be wanting to know what y'all say. No, they don't. Guys, like, that's the biggest lie. I hate, I hate when you fucking pea brain people say that. People want to see draft champs and salary cap and money games. No, they don't. I want to ask y'all this question right now. How many money games and salary cap and draft champs have ScoMo played? How many how many how many money games has Gut Fox played? How many money games have y'all seen Problem play in the last five years? Seriously. Hey, right, listen, guys. I don't even know ScoMo. That's because you're fucking under a rock. And comp, and comp, play, comp players want to see money games. Like, what? The, okay. The guy's like, I appreciate you. And there's a lot of people like you. There's a lot of people like you that want to watch competitive people. Me, that's what I want to watch. That I want to watch the best players in the world uh, do what they do. I don't care. I, honestly, um, that's how I am with everything. With basketball, I don't watch college sports. Watching college sports is like watching ScoMo play Madden. Now, ScoMo's my friend. You know, so I don't want to keep dragging him like he's some shit, you know, but I mean, he's just not a super pro. You know, I don't watch college sports. I don't watch college sports. I don't watch fucking movies that don't make the movie theater, right? 
You know, that's just how I, I want to watch. I want to watch De Niro and De, DiCaprio and Matt Damon and, and, and you know, Denzel Washington. I don't want to watch Hallmark movies. That's just me. I want to watch the best at what they do, you know. No, that's just how I am in everything. Yeah, it's almost a man in real life. I mean, he's not 4'10", but, you know, he's not my height. <clears throat> exactly. 300 people want to... 300 people want to see Comp Madden, for sure. and But at the same point, those 300 people are loyal. But I also feel like those 300 people are loyal to me regardless. I feel like it doesn't matter if I'm playing tic-tac-toe. <clears throat> you know, my friends are going to be in here watching me play tic-tac-toe. Because I feel like all of you guys are my friends. You know, um, y'all going to be in here watching me play tic-tac-toe. Uh, because and it's a, Gut Fives, the, Gut Fives won, he does a good job. And, and he's very consistent. That's the biggest thing. With streaming. Consistency is the biggest thing. Also, the cards are more... People want to watch shit about the cards more than they want to watch the game. It's crazy for us to think that because we play the game. We want to watch great players play. We want, but more people care about their team. More people care about the cards. More people care about the team building than the actual game. They could really give two shits about the game. You know? All the people, if you look like this, all the most successful people in Madden content, con one million percent build build their entire content around the cards and the team building. It is because people want to see that, you know. I feel like this. I feel like, and and this is what I'll ask. This is what I'll tell you guys. I feel like. <clears throat> Um, I feel like more people need help with their team than they need help playing Madden. I feel like more people care about advice for making their team better than they care about advice for getting good at Madden. That's pretty nuts, but that's all. You know. A younger gen, like how much younger, what does it mean? I feel like I'm a young streamer, not like young, young like age, but young like like I said, it's only been two years, you know. I feel like once I get to five years partner, shit, I'm gonna be popping. You know, I want to get a hundred thousand followers on Twitch. You know, stop it, pew pew. That was disrespectful. Yeah, mud is awesome. Mud is the best thing that ever happened to man, really. Mutt is the best thing to happen to Madden. I like watching people with the newest cards. Okay. And and what's crazy is this is um it's about the newest cards, right? Um I, I've always been a I, and, and the more I play Mutt, the more I, I that shit don't matter that much. You know, we a new card every week is one more speed, one more hit power, one more zone, and 500k more coins. Uh, I, I've always been told, man, it's not the arrow, it's the Indian. As long as your team isn't 89 speed out there, I think you'll be fine, honestly. Hmm. I'm definitely old. Shit, I don't have any hair. Look, what the hell? But uh, there is such an allure around the new cards um, that it, it brings a lot of people in, and that's awesome. You know? The jungle plus the new cards. But, bro, the jungle, why well, are the jungle like? These kids not ready for the jungle. They not. I don't. I don't really don't think they. they I got the new cars. I want to get on and buy Patrick Willis right now. It's so crazy. It's so crazy to me is that I I have enough coins to buy Patrick Willis. But I'm thinking, man, I'm gonna wait till Friday when I play weekend league or tomorrow when I play weekend league to buy Patrick Willis. Boom. That's all. I got every card. You know. Nobody. A salary cap weekend league, people wouldn't know. People would be pissed. People would be fucking lose it. People would just lose it. 
lose it. Cause let's let's step back and think about making a salary cap team. Make I, I will tell you this, like when uh when I play salary cap or I let Clef use the account to play salary cap Friday night football, right? It is a nightmare for me to get my team back. When he like downgrades Tory Holt five slots, he downgrades till many changes shit. He sells my Eagles players. He he texts me like, yo, thanks for letting me use the account. I bought William Jackson. He's a goon. It's just a nightmare to make a salary cap team. It's a nightmare to put a salary cap team together. Now that's us that do this all day. Now, if you put Johnny Raincoat out here and you tell him make a salary cap team for weekend league this weekend, his mind is going to spin out of control and he's going to be pissed and right to Reddit he goes. Johnny Raincoat. What the hell? I don't know how to make this team. This is some shit. How the hell do I I boot up? This guy still has Randy Moss and Vic and T.O. and Bo Jackson. He has everybody and I have all core elites all over the place. Salary cap, salary cap was simple before the power-ups. It was awesome before the power-ups. Power-ups have made it an absolute enigma. Yes. Before power... I mean, it's definitely still fun. But I feel like the transition... The transition from mutt to salary cap teams is a nightmare. It is. As somebody that wants to play comp like me and wants to play weekend league mutt, it is a nightmare. It is an absolute nightmare. It is, period. That's all I'm saying. So you want a separate weekend league? Yo, persistent, you gotta hit the sub before you come in here just saying shit. I can't I can't just keep reading comments and just confusing stupid ass comments from people that aren't subbed. I just like I, I'm done. You 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 wasted a good forty five seconds of my brain cells. Johnny Raincoat, man. Johnny Raincoat. I don't see a sub. I don't see a logo. You know what I'm saying. Nah, Waki, man, that's crazy. Because I, I mean, people really make me lose brain cells. Mo, what's up, man? RPO McGavin. Johnny Raincoat. Johnny Raincoat's kind of hell. Johnny Raincoat. That's kind of tough. Johnny Raincoat. I personally hate abilities. Abilities are cool. I think Madden is, Madden is not that bad right now. And we'll talk about draft champions. I, I was going to talk a lot about draft champions because there's draft champion season. But then I sat here and thought, man, it's nothing to talk about. And I'm going to have another week next week. I need to spread out the content. So next week we're going to talk more about, um, more about draft champions. Because I see a lot of negativity in draft champions. And I'll tell you, I kind of like the mode. But that's for next week. Don't start talking about it in the chat. You'll get banned because I don't want... It's for next week. So if you're on YouTube and you want to talk about draft champions... Uh, go above, and it will be the Nita episode. Nita podcast episode sixty three will be more about draft champs. Honestly, um, all right. I'm not talking about sheds. I'm not talking about the. But uh, I want to talk about some of my goals personally. Um, for Madden, Madden, the end of Madden twenty, and the end of Madden. What are the start of Madden 21? <clears throat> um, my biggest goal is, is for the rest of the year is I want to put at least 40 hours a week into Madden. So that's looking like what? Like a 40 hours. I feel like 40 hours is not the streaming because streaming could be anything. Streaming could be the podcast. Streaming could be whatever of a 2K game or Apex or Fortnite, whatever the hell I play. <clears throat> Just Madden alone. That's like one of the first things I want to do. 40 hours a week just to man. Whether it be weekend league. Weekend league, that's a cool 15 to 20 hours right there. Uh, whether it be mutt, whether it be whatever leaderboard is popping. I want to put 40 hours a week on oh, man. And, and one of the thing, One of the things. Um, I try. I try to mow. <clears throat> I try to be the best managed streamer. But no. I don't think. Uh, I, that's a good question. Who's the best managed streamer? I don't think it's. 
I think it's only a competition with yourself. I mean, I don't really... First of all, I don't really watch men streamers, to be honest. I really don't. Like, I don't. I watch, like, I watch Problem play Fortnite more than I watch him play Madden. Um, but for me, I feel like you only competing with yourself. And it's corny to say, but you just try to do better than you were the next day. And that's all. That's all. That's all my, uh, that's my only goal, you know? <clears throat> Um, but like I said, I do want to put 40 hours a week into Madden. Uh, I think 50, 50, I was going to go 50, but I feel like that's a lot. I feel like that's five, eight hour shifts. Um, five, maybe it could be 50 hours, but my main point is I want to do more, more Madden, more Madden, more Madden. Uh, and it's a lot of times where I don't want to play the game. Like I wake up on a Thursday and I'll be like, yeah, I don't really want to play Madden today, but I got to just start grinding the shit out of Madden. Really? <clears throat> yeah, something like that change up. You know, I, thanks for the fucking math, asshole. My man, Jones with the gifts, man. Um, and it, also, man, I want to get the YouTube more popping. I mean, I've been only thing I really upload now is um the podcast, the CFM. Uh, I gotta think as far as YouTube's concerned, and if you guys are here, man, obviously you're watching now. If you're in the Twitch chat, please hit that sub on the you if you're just here for Twitch. Or if you're here, but if you're in the Twitch chat and you don't be on the YouTube, hit that sub on on the Skew Tube. You know what I'm saying, and I, I pretty much just upload the podcast and the CFMs. Um, I never thought the podcast would get to the point where it's 300 of you guys in here watching it. Um, but I need to come up with some better ideas, like some better. I feel like the random, the random, the random gameplay. That's not it. I need something that make people want to keep watching. Like, really be like, when's the next one? Not just the random gameplays. Honestly, for me, it's like, um, for me, it's, uh, for me, when I put, when you make, when you edit a video, you, you voice it over, you upload it. I mean, that's an hour, two hours, whatever it is. And it's a pain in the ass work. And when it, when the return on it isn't that good, it's like, that shit just, just kills me to do anything like that, honestly. Um, I really just want to get to a point where uh, I got to find some... Because I'll be honest, my, one of my strengths is being creative and coming up with stuff like this. And I just got to put a little bit more, uh, a lot more effort into coming up with a good thing that keeps everybody... Like a good series on Madden, you know. that That's pretty much what one of my goals is going to be, keeping people going. You know. Buy a bus and recreate Mad Nation. Great fucking idea, man. Great idea. Let me go ahead and buy a bus and... Alright, man. That's the end of it. That's the end of the podcast, man. It's been real. It's been real. I'm buying a bus. Let me go. Let's go Google bus. Is there a bus on eBay? Let's go take a look, man. Is there a bus on eBay? Here we go, boys. Bus. There it is. A Thou Wow right there. Boom. That's not bad. You put me, Kiv, Skimbo, Drenny, Problem, right in this joint, right here. We, we got painted a little bit. You know, I mean, you know, the carburetor might not be clean, but you know, we could we could fit in that joint. You know what I'm saying, for the thou wow, that's not bad. It's a Ford. It's not bad, Chad. What else we got? Okay, now we're talking. Thomas Freightliner, handicap accessible. You know what I'm saying. That's not bad for the for the forty five huns. Not bad. Look at them tires right there, boys. That's that's this not bad right now, Chad. Buy a bus. This might be okay. What's this? The two thousand fifteen forty forty. Okay. Oh, that's a door right there, Chad. 
That's a door. That's a door. Okay, this this is like half ambulance, half this is a bus. Oh, listen, chat. This not bad right here, boys. Look at that. There it is right there. Ghost, Skimbo, Kiv, Drenny, Pavin right there. Boom. Put him on the bus. Seatbelts and all. Oh, we got more seats. We got five more seats. Damn, bro. And we got a bed. I don't know who, who's like, you know what I'm saying? This is popping. Okay, got the AC. The AC. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. Emergency exit, just in case. Bro, this one might be it, chat. Oh, the solo seat. That's problem seat right there. You know what I'm saying? Boom. What else we got? We got any more buses? The yellow bus might go. Whoa. Okay. For a little bit more. For the 17.5. This is not. Bro. We could put the Twitch chat. All you fuckers who tell me who's open could fit on this bus. All you fuckers. Oh, we road tripping. This is the, this is the John Madden bus right here, boys. Load it up. Oh, yeah, that's all you fuckers right here telling me. Oh, yep, yep, all you fuckers can fit sitting here. B's open. B, we're going to see how good B's open. B's open. We're going to see how good you guys are in the bright lights. B is open. You had a tutty. Yeah, all, all 15 of you fuckers right there in the back right. Yep, we're going to have so much fun. Buy a bus. Okay, look at that seat. Look at that seat, chat. <laughs> That looks like a gaming chair right there, boys. You see all the buttons over there on the right, too? Like, jeez. The Philly Eagles after playoff loss. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. You guys are fucking funny. I mean, I, listen. For 17-5, that's not bad. I mean, listen. We could buy a bus. Okay, 15? The 19.99. Is this a better deal? The Prevost. I mean, that's looking a little rough. Fair working condition. That's a little I don't know how I feel about fair working condition. Okay, this is the freaked out bus. When you got the when you have this when these uh what you call this? When you have these fabrics or the little seat covers like that. And the ceiling. Bro, it's some freak nasty shit that goes in on these buses. Chat. Tell me you've sat on one of these buses before with the freaked at the freaked out seat covers. Don't front. Don't front. You've sat on these buses. Greyhounds used to have the freaked out seat covers. And the ceiling, you see the ceiling like that? Freaked out. Some freak ass shit goes on on these Greyhounds. Tell you that right now. Yeah, it gets nasty. I'm telling you, it gets nasty on the freaked out. The, the you know the twenty year. We talk about the two thousand twenty. It's a new decade. These are left in the other decade. So buying a bus. That's what we're doing. That's what the podcast is going to now. We are buying a bus. I would need to get over a couple thousand subs to buy a bus. But any donations below, we should start a donation tab. Do you think we can get up to fifteen grand to buy a bus? Like, seriously, would y'all, like, do you think that shit would work if we had, like, like, do you think it would work, like, if we had a bus and drove around and shit, would people watch that shit? Like, what made, what made you want to watch the bus? Because people say all the time, yo, I like the Mr. Bus, you drove the bus. Where's everybody at on the bus? I want to watch the bus. Like what? Like seriously. What What about the bus was good? You never watched the Madden game. You never watched Madden. We got to fight? That's not, let's just fight now. Fuck it. Let's just fight. 
Let's just do a tournament of fights. Man player fight tournament. Forget forget man. Let's, let's, that's it. Let's just watch regular people fight. That's it. So pretty much we come to this. We've come from Madden, Twitch, we went to a bus, now we're just in a fighting tournament. That's all you want to watch. So pretty much, let's just get back to dumb human drama. That's all we want to watch is dumb human drama. This like the same shit. This ain't reality TV. That's all you want to watch. That's it. That's all you want to watch. Oh, I just unplugged my camera. It's getting wild right now, chat. No signal ass stream right now. Oh, you just gonna fight, Cash Cow. You just gonna fight people because you lost? You never lost before, huh? There's an instant fight. It's just an instant fight every time you lose, huh? Bang bus. I'm back. It's getting wild in here. Papa Muko, man. I, I didn't see your question, honestly. That's it. Yeah, you beat me a man, but I get more money than you. I I I get more hoes than you. That's high school shit. But anyway, like I said, I want want to put 40, 50 hours in the man a week. I want to get to like 30k subs on YouTube. I'm at like 17 now. Um Jehovah, that was the corniest. I mean, y'all just corny. Like, y'all shooting percentage for jokes is so bad. The chat shooting percentage on jokes is so bad. It's so bad. Yeah, I'm, yeah. The shooting percentage for y'all jokes is so bad. Got time today, cuz, with the nine months. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Like, the chat might be at 10%. All the jokes you guys say, 10% of them might be good. Papa Muko, man, how do you, he Papa Muko in the in the Nita podcast? This is his fucking question that he had to say that he had to t- ask me so bad that I ignored. Papa fucking Moko, Muko, Papa Muko Moka. He's been following since December thirty first, two thousand nineteen. How many days ago is that? Three days. Papa Muko says, "Listen, chat. How are you able to get millions of coins? I stay under a hundred k." Hasn't been listening to shit. Hasn't been contributing to shit. He doesn't even know how many coins I have. How does he know how many coins I have? I'm not even on Madden. I could have 50K. The chat is undefeated. Undefeated. Papa Muko. Papa Muko, is this crazy or what, chat? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? He's been following for two days. Shit, it could be one day. And he said to me, you're not answering my question. And his question was, how do you get millions of coins? When he doesn't even see my coins. I haven't said the word coin in an hour. I swear to God, man. Come on, my blood pressure is cool. Bro, my blood pressure is cool, man. My blood pressure is cool, cool, cool. Answer my question. Like he had like he had a question. Like, did you ever watch 300? I know you guys have watched 300, right? <laughs> now, when 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 uh what's him call it? What the hell's his name?
Leonidas. When Leonidas, right, when after he kicks the dude in the, in the ground and hold, this is Sparta, right? So Leonidas. So Leonidas, what he has to do is he has to go talk to the Oracle. And remember when Leonidas had to climb up that mountain in, like, the rain and the snow and shit to see the Oracle? Just for the Oracle to say some dumb shit like, no, don't do it, right? That's what Papa Muku climbed. He, he's presented the fact that he climbed up this mountain like Leonidas. Through the snow and the rain, he climbed up. Answer my question. How do you get a million coins? During the podcast. Now, I'm not playing much. It's not Weekend League. We were talking about man on Twitch and, and, you know, just goals as a community and everything. And that was his question. Fucking Leonidas himself climbed up to the Oracle to ask me how many, how do you get coins? And y'all wonder why all these people have so many views on YouTube. Those are the fuckers that watch the, the mutt content, guys. Those, what's his name? Papa Kuku, Papa Muko? Those are the assholes right there. A thousand of them a day. Five thousand of them. Watch Good Morning Madden to see what card's coming out and how they get caught. Co- because they don't have no damn coins. Papa fucking Muko. Those are the viewers. But I'm stuck with you assholes that care about comp men. I need a thousand Papa Mukos. Hey, Papa Muko, thanks for your support, man. Bring your friends next time. Jesus. Papa Muko, telling you. Just nuts, man. Just nuts, chat. But yeah, I want to get into YouTube, man. Uh, but one thing I also wanted to do, um, I wanted to come up with some, I wanted to come up with some, some resolutions for us as a community. I really do. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to do this and that. I want to come... And you guys can help me, man. I want to come up with some community resolutions, man. It might be... uh, You know... Obviously... The deodorant at Madden tournaments is a big deal. But I feel like we've talked about that. It's for Everybody has talked about that. You know... My man Anti-Hero with the sub, man. Thank you. You know what I'm saying I feel like the I feel like the um the deodorant thing has been overblown. The handshake thing, we have talked about that chat. I I think for a resolution, we might just have to go straight fist bumps. All man community needs to be straight fist All man community needs to be straight fist bumps. I think I think that's what we going. Now, right Martin, now we talk about running stretch stretch left. I I'm, I'm, I will tell you this, I wish we could have a resolution stop flipping my fucking players. In my run defense. I wish that could be a resolution. For all you crabs and all you crab run players. Stop flipping my DBs and run plays. Please stop. I don't want to have to move everybody and reset and flip. and miss. I don't want to have to do that. If you want to run the ball, come out. Establish things at the line of scrimmage like a man. Don't try to cheat some yards. Don't try to audible flip, motion, flip, run, reset. Just to cheat me. Come out there. And start like a man. And shout out to my man Papa Muko with the sub. Now, Papa, since you subbed, let's talk about these coin things. See, there's this guy named the Dazzling One. He's on Twitter. And you go and you hit him up and say, I'm Papa Muko. I would like to buy some coins. And he will give you a million coins for roughly 60 bucks, something like that. And what you do is you hit up Daz. You say, Daz, what's your PayPal? And he says, this is my PayPal. And you send Daz $60. And once you send him $60, then you put a card up for a million coins. Then he buys said card for a million coins, Papa Muko. Then you have a million coins. Now, if you want two million coins, you say, Daz, I want two million coins. Then he says, okay, Papa Muko, this is how much which I charge for 2 million coins. Boom. Then you send him the money for 2 million coins. Bang. Then he buys your card for 2 million coins. That is 1,000% how you get a million coins on Madden. That's it. Anyway, back to the community resolutions. Stop flipping my players, man. For real. You know what I'm saying? That's how it works. Yeah, if you want to run, you know, just come out here. Uh, put some, get some offensive linemen. Put an extra off, offensive lineman. And try to blow me off the ball. Don't try to. Don't try to hit. Don't try to. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to like sneak and don't try to steal yards and glitch me and stuff like that. I, I'm not a fan of that. 
uh, that tactic. It's a scummy tactic. If you want to go toe-to-toe in the jungle, you want to go mano y mano, elbow to elbow, shoulder to shoulder, in the trenches, I'm with that shit. I was made from that shit. I breathe that shit. But if you want to glitch my players, I don't, and I want a resolution that we don't do that to each other. You know, because I think it's a scumbag thing. Man is about pissing the other person off. I think that's video games. When you really think about it, video games are about pissing off the other person as much as possible. Have you ever lost in a video game and been happy with the other person? A new question to you. Have you Call of Duty, have you ever turned around a corner and ran into a Claymore and be like, wow, that's a great play there, Johnny Raincoat. Have you ever been happy with the other? Have you ever, have you ever been, you know, friendly with the person that kills you in a video game? No, we hate everybody that kills us. We hate everybody that beats us, everybody that kills us. No, we hate them. That's the point. So you might be right. If the opponent is mad, he misplays. That's a good point. See this guy, MF, or MWF? That's the guy on Weekend League flipping my players right there. Right there. Manny Dev, what is the best Madden moment of the last decade? It was when Dub Dot W won the Madden Bowl in Madden 17. One thousand percent is the best moment. One thousand. I mean, is there any other moment that can top that? Seriously, the passion, the energy, the clutch trait, the big nuts on the big stage. What's a better moment? Not biased. I'm being serious. People don't have fun in video games, dude. People don't have fun playing video games. Seriously. If you want to win, you got to throw the fun out the window. What did I tell you guys? Bro, no snacks, no smiles, just ta- just towels. That is it. That is 1,000% all you can eat. There's nothing else to have. There's nothing else to do. There's nothing else to talk about. No fun. Oh, my man, Tech Rise Gaming. I appreciate you. That, 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 see, that hit home, Tech Rise. I appreciate you, man. Skimbo is having fun? No. Skimbo has snacks, though. Yeah, like Volt. Look at Volt. He was the best player. He had the most dominating. Volt had the most dominating performance in Madden MCS history. No fun. We talked to him on a podcast. No snacks, just pasta. He said, I just make pasta. He goes and gets pasta. He makes pasta. He puts tomato sauce and lots of cheese. No snacks. He literally said that last week. Volt said, I have no snacks. I said, Volt, what's your snacks? I'm not a snack guy. I swear to God. If any of you guys were here last week or watched the podcast, that's what he said. Yeah, he didn't say nothing. He was just locked in. Yeah, he needs some snacks, Major, but no. Maybe I need to be more like Volt. Volt won $100,000. I'm out here begging for your subs. Nothing wrong with a little Parmesan. Volt, nah, Volt. I, I, Volt, Volt, seemed like the, Volt seemed like the type to put cheddar cheese on pasta. Let's, Volt is definitely putting some cheddar cheese on his spaghetti. Volt don't have no Parmesan, bro. <coughs> Just butter. <laughs> Yo, that's a hell. Uh, that's a hell gamer tag. Jordan, is that not a hell gamer tag? Just butter. String cheese. String cheese and pasta. Just butter. No, but for real, uh, what I'm saying, but like I said, community resolution, stop flipping my players. We got to get the deodorant, bro, like for real. Every man, every man guy, every tournament, bro, for real. Because what you don't realize about the tournaments is you be locked in a room for like 12 hours with the same people, like, 
And I don't care how like clean you are. After 12 hours of being in a room, you're going to be a little funky. After 12 hours of sitting in this chair, I'd be a little funky. That's just like, that's how it goes, right? You know? It was just pot or what? Just butter? That's a hell gamer tag. I don't think anybody a fan of the bo, but um, I would think man, I want to stop fucking complaining so much. I don't man, we complain so much about Madden. We complain about Madden like we're forced to do it. We're com- we complain about Madden like it's just we are forced to play the game, like there's nothing else in the world for us to do with our lives. That's how we complain about Madden. Like we are like we are prisoners of war, but we have to play Madden all every day. Like, do you know how many more activities there are in the world than Madden? And, and people just, like, are just miserable playing this shit. You know, people just complain. We're a whole abuki buki buki boo community. That's all. A buki buki boo. That's our community. If you describe the Madden community in one in one word, a buki buki boo. Seriously. Um... I wish we got a little better. My man Dave in the chat. Man with the sub. 25 months, man. My man TBO Vilma. I don't know when he gonna drop TBO. I run flip plays only. Wow. Wow. That's, I mean, this is spot on right here, Metsy. Metsy, that's, I mean, listen. There you go. I mean, Metsy, that, that. You spoke to me, Metsy, on fire. <clears throat> My man said, my man Metsy on fire, chat. This 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 kind of spoke to me. Now you guys saw it, but let's let's look at it. Oh, let me get rid of this real quick. Let's look at this. I love W. I'm from I'm from German. Play head to head one Super Bowl ever round 300k coins easy for German. Love man and sorry my English is bad. Not that bad. He said, uh run flip plays only Kevin's. What I see is three times run plus with minus yards, the same play. And on fourth down, he played the same play plus 30 yards. I hate run, kids. I mean, that's it. I hate run, kids. This is it. The same play three times with negative yards. And he run the same play on fourth down, 30 yards. I hate run, kids. That's. I mean, that's it. Metsy, this is spot on, bro. I'm. I'm right with you, man. There you go. I hate running these kids. I, I'm I'm spot on with you, bro. Like, and I appreciate the German. My girl's from Germany. She is from Germany and Africa. Um, so I will show her that. Uh, Metzi, um, so I will show her and be like, my man Metzi is from Germany. He plays Madden. He hates the runs kids. I hate the runs kids too, man. There you go, Messi. I believe you're tough. The reality of it, the reality of it is, uh, oh, you know what? <sighs> Look, it's hard. When you talk, I swear you, like, you talk, when you talk this much straight with no, like, breathing, you just get tired of Joe. No, I don't have a fiance. But I want some more community resolutions, man. What can we do? I talked about stop whining so much. Bro. We, our negativity level, man, our negativity, y'all say toxic. I don't know what that means. People use the word toxic so much. What does that mean? I feel like it's just a way to say negative, right? Right, Chet? I'll take the old school. Well, I had went to a trade school where they made you shave your face. So my face was always shaved. So I think toxic means just like negative. And I agree, man. I feel like why... 
why like it's always gonna be negative people, right? But y'all don't gotta be that person, right? No, I'm not. I mean, I feel like I'm never a toxic person, but yeah, Nathan, for sure. People complain about it a lot. Dude. People complain. My, I'm not buying a new couch till I get a house, bro. I, honestly, I, first of all, my couch is fire, Dave. Be respectful. Be real respectful. It's actually, the couch is actually super fire, honestly. Cash cow, my breath, I can't lie, my breath is probably be humping right now. No, my breath only, like, when, when, if I smell my breath, like, bouncing off the monitors, that's when it's like, all right, dude, it's time to turn the stream off and go brush your shit. I timed that guy out. I had enough of that shit. Like, hi W. What's your favorite playbook? Like, it's not like I do this shit once a year. Like, I feel like I'm on Twitch every day. You couldn't wait till I was playing Madden to ask that question. You couldn't wait till Weekend League, which tomorrow night. You couldn't wait till then to ask that question? Just like, chat, like, I'm, listen, 2020, I'm bringing a different energy to you fuckheads, all right? I'll tell you that. We might be at war. I'm gonna be honest. Because you, you little cockroaches, man. No, it's like, but it's like, but it's my thing. You come and ask a question, at least, at least like, pay me a little attention and, and, and get a vibe from what I'm talking about or what's going on here before you ask a dumbass question. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not that it's a dumbass question, but for me, it's like, contribute, you know? This our show. You know what I'm saying? It's me and you guys, we're talking about Madden. We're talking about the community. We're talking about the growth. We're talking about buying a bus. Contribute, that's all. Yeah, Tootie, I'm at war, bro. No, not with the chat. I'm not positive with the chat in 2020. Everybody getting aired out. Metsy, you might be the GOAT, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Metsy, you might get mod, cuz. I mean, you haven't been following for 19 minutes. But if you, if you stick around, Metsy, you might get mod. Bro. How you put a running back at tight end, bro? That shit. Fight tournaments. We gonna have a fight tournament. We buying a bus. We doing a lot of shit. And y'all helping me. Us. We're doing a lot of shit. A fight tournament. A bus. Community resolutions. We're making Madden better right now. And you come in here asking some off the wall random shit, you not helping. Right, chat? Are you with me? That's what I, that's all I gotta ask. <clears throat> Tech, I mean I do that every time somebody wins a tournament. It was kinda tough. It was kinda tough for Vault because the thing with Vault was he really didn't. It was no John Gruden. It was no quarterback camp. He ran every play. So I was like, "Yo, what are you looking for in this place?" Like, yeah, you know, I'm just trying to run and bust a run. I don't got shit in my fridge, bro. I don't have anything in the fridge. No snacks on the bus. No snacks on the bus. Oh man, I will tell you this too, chat. I want another resolution. I gotta get a better schedule. I I can't bring the camera, bro. The fridge, the fridge has half and half. How could I do this? I can't even like bring. I can go take a picture of it. The fridge got half and half. About fifteen white claws. 
Like ketchup, mustard, and maybe like pickles or some shit, or like salad dressing and like hot sauce or something. Yeah, like it don't have shit in there. And deer backstrap, milk, bread, and butter. That's it. Just butter. Just butter on the bus. Just butter on the bus. Use use the backstrap for the hot. You know that's a holiday meal. You know a couple onions on the backstrap. I can't like switch my phone. Yeah, I would have to turn the stream off. Turn that's too much. Uh, nah. Now let's think about ten people on the bus. Ten people on the bus, who would y'all... If there's ten people getting on the bus, who would be y'all ten people? Leftovers or what, Chuck E. Cheese? I don't know if Journey would be on... I don't know if Journey makes my bus, bro. I don't know if Journey makes the bus. Papa Muko, you're not driving, bro. You've been following me for ten minutes, bro. You're not driving, no. <clears throat> I mean, Banks IQ would just... Banks IQ... Yo, Banks IQ would siphon the gas out of the bus to bring home. Like, we would all be asleep, and somebody would like... And, and Banks IQ would be stealing the gas. And then we wake up in the morning, and you'd be like, Damn, we only got a quarter tank? Banks IQ stole the gas. 1,000%. User. Jaybird Oreo, Jesus Christ, Shakobi. I'm not making. I realize I'm not making the bus. I'm not on the bus. Y'all right. Let's think about the nastiest. Let's think about the nastiest bus ever. Let's think about it. Fake putting gas. Yeah, Banks IQ is stealing shit. Like Banks IQ is stealing shit from the bus. Banks IQ is stealing shit that he doesn't even need just to steal shit. Like, he would, like, oh, my God. Like, he would steal the seat covers. It'd be, like, one row with no seat covers the next morning. Like, who the hell who the hell stole the seat covers? Meanwhile, you go to Banks IQ crib, he got 15 bus seat covers and just to have them. Like, yeah, I did that. Like, for what? Yeah, you know. Man King, hell no, I'm not playing Madden. Somebody's playing, go, Zan's playing Madden right now. Check him out, bro. He would steal the seatbelts. Fard and that. What would, what would AKG do on the bus? What would AKJ and Bugs do on the bus? First of all, AKG can't even sit in a bus seat. His knee's gonna be at his jaw. He can't speak English, so he can't do interviews. What's AKG going to do on a bus? Like, sometimes you really got to think, like, what am I really signing up for? Yeah, Boog's out there making coffee. First of all, Boog's going to be up. Boog's going to be up before everybody and go to sleep before everybody wake up. That's just nuts right now. Yeah, AKG goes, let's hoop. Let's hoop. Let's hoop. Let's hoop. Let's hoop. Let's hoop. First of all, my, my bus won't stink. You saw that bus I was buying, Joe? That bus won't stink. Big kid. Y'all just putting anybody on the bus right now. Civil not making my bus, bro. Civil not making my bus. What I realized, and, and this is what I'm saying. Y'all don't give a fuck about people being good and mad. Look, like this is my point. 
Look at all the people y'all just named. Seriously. How many live events were in the people that y'all just named that y'all want to watch? Seriously. Nobody said Ghost. Nobody said Kiv. Nobody said nobody said Pavin. Nobody said Beast Mode. You know what I'm saying? Barely anybody says Skimbo. Y'all don't give a fuck about being good at Madden. Y'all want the clowns. Let's be real. Y'all don't want to watch these people. That shit not fun. Ghost gonna be on there fucking labbing. Ghost gonna be like, if I throw the wheel route, if I throw the wheel route at, at 1.6 seconds as opposed to 1.4 seconds, I get a better animation. First of all, Siwoo does not leave the house, bro. Siwoo, yo, you could give him a million dollars, he wouldn't leave the house. I'm really convinced he's five foot three. I swear to God. Like, he don't leave. Bro, ask. Nobody knows where that shit is, bro. We tried. We were in North Carolina. The whole mad community was in North Carolina, man. Can't do much more. Can't do much more, man. Exactly, Tyro. That's it. They want reality TV with a little bit of Madden. That's all. That's all they want. Madden doesn't matter. Matters to us because we like watching it. We like playing it. Matter. And, and what... what what I realized too in these two and a half years that I've been partnered being good at Madden matters way more to me than it matters to y'all like it's all in here it's just me as a competitor me as a person that likes to try to be the best that's who it matters it matters to me way more than y'all give a fuck about it you know what I'm saying bro see what bro alright we gonna stop talking about the bus alright we're in North Carolina like Tech, man, it take a while, man. Yeah, but it, it it's hard to realize that it, it's hard to realize that you know being good doesn't. Now, I don't want to say it doesn't matter, but it's like it's not paramount, honestly. You know what I'm saying, what well, North Carolina was Madden seventeen, uh, two thousand seventeen through summer. X, man. I mean, for sure. Walkie, I don't think that's true. But I don't think I'll ever suck. The problem is, what the, it's a different... It's a different... It's a different... What y'all think is sucking and I think is sucking paws, all this is way different. Like, I'll never get to a point... Like, I could, I'm, I could be 80 years old. Like, when I'm 80 years old, I'll, I'll be good at men. Like... 1000%. Like, I will never, y'all will never think I suck, but I think I suck right now. That's the difference. Yeah, I don't know. Everybody be, be dragging my man Fox. I don't hate on the Fox. Fox is the man. Fox is determined. Fox, Fox treats streaming like a job, and that's the most successful way to do it, honestly. Seawoo Twitch, man. I miss Seawoo on Twitch, bro. I really do, Joe. That shit was good. RIP. Yeah, that's some resolutions, man. We got to work on this bus. I seen, man, we can get a bus for 5K, bro. I feel like we could raise 5K, guys. Would anybody put 50 bucks to it, bro? If we get 100 people put 50 bucks to it, we could have a bus. I would order that fucker. I would order it. And what would I do? I don't know how, like, what would I do? Drive that fucker around? I would whip that bitch around America, honestly. I would whip that bitch like, say, like in the summertime, like uh, April, May, June, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Prob definitely on the bus. Prob definitely on the bus. It's just like, okay. So the bus would pop, right? But how do I convince all these guys to go on the bus? Why would Siwoo go on the bus? 
why would AKG go on the bus? What I'm saying that's my question to you guys. It's not gonna make us any money. How are we are we gonna make any money? Bugs, Bugs is the only absolutely not on the bus. Unless he wanted to drive, Bugs could be the driver. He could be the driver. I invest everything in myself. Damn. <sighs> but we get a bus. That's all. That's all we figured out. We're getting a bus. That's my resolution. I don't. Th I, I mean, I don't think they make money from from tournaments. The only way they make money is from these sponsors, the Pizza Hut, the Snickers, and what's the other one? I forget the other one. That's how they make money, really. They're not making money from Twitch. Bugs definitely Uber. Yo, that'd be crazy. What if Bugs was really an Uber driver on the low? Bugatti Bugs, Honda Bugs, Uber driver. You know what I'm saying? I could see it. Five stars on the Uber. I could definitely see that. All right, soon enough, man. This was the Need a Podcast, episode 62. Um, Happy New Year, y'all. It is January 1st, 2020. Make sure y'all pay y'all rent. I know a lot of people forget. Whew, I know a lot of people forget to pay their rents because of New Year. Your rent's still going. You know, your rent, all your bills are still getting paid. I know it's 2020, but rent is still getting paid. You still got to take care of your responsibilities. Remember that. Sometimes it sneaks up on y'all. You know I'm saying? I mean, Kim, that's a pretty wild 10. That's a pretty wild 10. I think I think we got to have Shakobi. I think we got to have Shakobi on there. That's a pretty wild 10, Kiv. So we got to figure a way to get Shakobi out there. What's the beef with Banks IG? Skinny Ginger <laughs> from James Madison University sophomore. What? Bro, my man that was following 11 minutes ago. All right. Master Gamer is not on the bus. No, Punjab. All right, that's it. I'm done now. Somebody said Master Gamer is on the bus. Needed podcast, episode 62, man. Appreciate you guys for coming through. Hit that like button.